area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. Go get your man. And I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Personals is fucking real. We need that. That's, that could be the motherfucking nail in the coffin if it's the right personal. You know what I mean? So you definitely gotta dig your dirt up before these battles, cause a nigga will dig dirt up on you, though. Do not think he won't. So you know I got dirt for this nigga. It's battle rap, man. I've 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 been hit with some of them. Um, I've dished out some of them. You get what I'm saying? It's time to drop a shell on them. Bang, boogie, farewell, garbage MCs, we got the... First thing rep and a damn thing to me. It is what it is and not what it should be. Life start feeling like a goddamn movie. Pussy wet and warm, cooling down a jacuzzi. On a flight, chest out, sipping on smoothie. Fight a tennis, sucking dick. So I'm eating pussy, beat it up. Now nah, next nigga fucking with a hoopty. She shot for the drive, but I still call it juicy. Respect, I won't take either. Clap this nine, he be absent-minded as a daydreamer. Knife in his gut, nah, I'll twist and push so it's way deeper. Like Thanos, I'll snap and put a blade through a gatekeeper. Any date, my flow bananas. When I appear, I don't have to glow. You niggas cherry pick those lemons to make they talent show. You better watch the shit your honey do. I got the antidote. I hit caution, plum in the melon, and now y'all cantaloupe. <laughs> And by the way, the sponsor's song is by Toron the Great. Whole lot of money. Make sure you check that out on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I definitely checked the video. I thought it was dope. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The clip of blowing, ain't talking fast, you're listening slow. Click and blend. Follow me on Instagram. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to my guy. Showtime SP. He will be back very soon. He got married on Saturday. Salute to my boy Showtime SP. Yes, I was there. It was a great ceremony. If you want to see the pictures, you know what I'm saying, you can check them out on the gram. Check my gram out. Check Showtime SP's gram. I'm just too lazy to put them all in here. Plus, I'm here to talk about battle rap. But salute to my guy Showtime SP. Salute to his wife, Liam. It was a definitely dope ceremony. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So let's just get right into what we need to get into. Um, Tay Rock versus Wise. So, Gates of the Garden. Uh, they've been putting on for quite some time. Salute to Drake Dennis and everybody over there. Open the gates, open the gates. Annoying song, but definitely a dope platform, dope league. I've seen a lot of battle rappers come from there. Rest in peace to LB the Boss. Um, gates of the Garden was very influential in helping keep a lot of rappers afloat and help rebuild careers. Like when Saga wasn't doing that great. He was on Gates of the Garden. When Twerk wasn't doing that great, he was on Gates of the Garden. When a lot of other MCs, Bill Collector, another one, he was on, he did a lot of work on Gates of the Garden. There was a lot of other MCs who did take big steps while battling on the Gates of the Garden platform. I've seen a lot of dudes over there. A-Words battled there, Chef Trez has battled there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the list goes on and on and on. Danny Myers has battled there. Him versus Drake Dennis is about to come out. And what they've done, they've been able to make Geechee Gotti battles over there, you know what I'm saying? That's just some of the names. But they've made substantial steps in the field of battle rap by putting on and being a very unique platform. They use the graphics and all of that, um, you know what I'm saying? And, and they definitely have some cool battles that happen over there. And they're known for a lot of like up and coming new guys getting shots. Sometimes their cards be longer than the last day of slavery. It'd be like 85 battles on this card. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? I ain't no way in hell I'm watching all these niggas. But let's just stay to the positive. So I was at the gym this morning. I went to the gym like around 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And I get a notification. Like, uh, I knew the battle was coming out, but I hadn't like really peeped it. But some nigga on Twitter has sent me this funny ass clip about niggas teeth in the... <laughs> Peep this. This shit crazy, B. Yo. How many missing teeth in this battle with Tay Rock? <laughs> Yo, y'all gotta bring y'all teeth to these battles, my nigga. The fuck is going on? My nigga shit crazy over here. Yo, you heard? I thought that was DNA back there, but this shit looking like it's about to come out too. You heard? Yo, get y'all shit together. You heard, Tay Rock? Don't let me see you battle these niggas with missing teeth again. You heard? So when I seen this, I just had to go peep this battle. I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. So 
Uh, I definitely went and watched it, and I will say this. I hadn't seen a lot of Wise battles. I mean, I know he battled Gucci Guy. I know he battled some other people, but let's just be real. Until I really had a reason, reason to watch, I'm only watching for the niggas that he's battling against. I'm sorry. It is what it is. But that's just the way it comes. When I see you battling against, not just him, but a lot of you niggas. When I see you niggas battling against a super big name that there's no way in hell you would be getting off your own merit besides, you know what I'm saying, a bag. I just watch the nigga that y'all battle against. I'm sorry. And so that's just the way it goes. Until you earn your burn, it ain't your turn. And I heard of him battling some niggas, but I just never peeped it. I, I might have skimmed through the shit. I think I did skim through or watch him versus Geechee. It was cool. But this one versus Rock, right? this is the one. Chanel logo. I'm just trying to help him see both ways. Now, come on. Oh! This is the one that's going to do some views. This is the one that's going to get you some looks. You should, I, I think, and I'm just, you know, to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. I think he should definitely get a look, bare minimum, from some leagues after a Tay Rock battle. Because not only did he battle Tay Rock, he survived and he did pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to lie. To, for me, I even got notes on the kid. I got notes on both sides, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's Dracula. Fuck if Sun Crip, let one trip, gold magnum, but the only thing rubber's the gun grip. Pistol whip, you get a bust lip and blood drip. That's a long hit and a crush hit, like fun dip. That's a stick in a bag I come with. Clear man! I know y'all used to my nigga Showtime SP. The nigga got married yesterday, my nigga. It was Saturday, but I'm saying, I got this, you know what I'm saying? I, I could still do this shit at a high level. So, um, Tay Rock comes into this battle, a lot of niggas is acting, why? Why the hell is he battling this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck would he be doing this shit for, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to see what was going to happen in it. Uh, Wise comes out his first round, and um, he had some shit, I'm not going to hold you. Uh, he had a little slogan that people knew, it's either going to be a casket or a classic. Um, he said, you ain't past stay, pussy, well I ain't past stay neither, I like that, I ain't past stay neither. Uh, Google Dante cereal tell you this Singapore. I like that joint. Uh, ironic, I can't sleep unless I'm hearing that white noise. He was talking about the smack joint, hearing that white noise. The impact will make him feel at home, the edge wood. I said, ooh, when you stop? Nah, you ain't there yet, you ain't there. You, 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 you all right, my nigga. I ain't gonna fuck with, I ain't gonna hold you, my nigga. You, you I, I was fucking with that. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the positive and I'm gonna tell you the negative. I know you're gonna watch this recap. You know what I'm saying? Get this look. You you enjoy this look. You got the battle out. It's doing numbers. You got to get the recaps with it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you said Smack put DNA on chill. That's cryogenics. Well, Dre put wisdom on rock. That's hieroglyphics. <laughs> now that nigga, that nigga, shoot the kill on my jewelry reel. That shit right there. Oh, nigga. That was fire. I'm not even gonna hold you. I, I was like, woo. The nigga shocked me for a second. So uh he said, papers don't shoot back, this target will. Uh fuck a license to carry, you missing the heart to kill. I thought that, that shit was more fire than it got reaction to, but I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Let's just keep it going. Are you in that circle? It don't matter if rock aware. I like that shit. Chanel, Chanel logo, I'm trying to see help him see both ways. I heard those how like, but I like the way you used it. The Chanel logo is seized both ways. I'm try I like that shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, Thriller, just bring rock with you. You know, Michael Jackson lines always work. Um, who needs, oh yeah, this is, this, this, this shit right here. I, I'm gonna I'm I'm school you, youngin. I've been doing this shit for a little minute, so I'm gonna give you what you need to know. Who needs props like a clock on the curb, the streets watch? Uh-uh. Whoever heard this shit, a clock on the curb, the streets watching my nigga, you could have left that out. I, I'm sorry, that's just not. This is Tay Rod, this is the Gun Bar King. This is what probably LeBron James of Battle Rod. This one of the biggest names. This is the biggest look you're gonna get. The clock on the curb, the streets watch my nigga, you don't need that. That that you got punches. You 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 did not need that one. That one was I hated that one. I'm not gonna lie. And I watched the battle twice, my nigga. And that did it, it, I felt the same way both times. Uh Hearing Rock turning is talking a circle. That's an NA meeting. Love that line. Uh, 
triangles and catch a hook up top clothes hangers. That was fire. And I missed it on the first go round. But when I heard the reaction, I said, what is these niggas reacting? And then when I, I was like, oh, 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 that's, that's what's up, my nigga. You got to keep that shit up right there. Uh, then you got into that fire fruit scheme. Watch your honey do. I got the antidote. I hit caution plum in the mouth. Now y'all cantaloupe. Nigga, that shit was fire. Then you had the pomegranate. I heard the pomegranate line before. Not the way you said it, but my palm will grant it. Jerry West said that shit. I think it was against X Factor. One of them niggas. Jerry West, he said that shit before. My palm will grant it. But anyway, we not we not I'm not taking nothing away from you. The fruit scheme was fire, but my palm will grant it. I heard that shit before. Um you you easy to rob Tay, he Dracula, he be sleeping in broad day. Very, very solid round, my nigga. That was a very, very solid round. I give you my 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 critique about it at the end when I tell you what I need to tell you and shit. But just that was solid round. Like you was you had some punches in there, you had some definite, like the setups, I'll talk about them, but that one fruit scheme or whatever, that was solid. But anyway, let's get to Rock. Rock, like Thanos, I snap and put a blade through a gatekeeper. <sighs> Crazy. Uh, battling Wise, they like, I'm battling Wise. He said, Beasley said, oh. Why is that nigga you battling? I like that. You know, Rock was telling the story about how he got the wise battle. Uh, shotgun, it ain't a passenger. Aim and clap at you. Like someone working in a Akon's mansion. It was made in Africa. Cool. Not the craziest shit I've ever heard, but it was cool. You know what I'm saying? This is Rock, so I know what he's bringing. Uh, gun clip, like fun dip. I come, the stick in the bag I come with. I thought that was fire, dog, because it's the fun dip. You remember know, fun dip? You used to stick the joint in the bag. The powder, blue powder, right? That was that was fire. Um, I'd have been, I'd have got the tripping over that, I'd have got the tripping on sale over that money like Jerry Maguire. <laughs> you seen Jerry Maguire? That was fucking fire. Um, he told a story, you know what I'm saying, about them being in Detroit, somebody not getting paid, saying we had to be safe. Rock used the personal. I like this shit. Uh. Have his bitch trying to bring back whatever he loved, like WandaVision. I thought that, that was fire. Uh, five clap. I give Wise that with no questions. I like that joint. Fire. Applied pressure to Wise stuff. The Xbox button jammed. He's definitely, he's jumping in the pockets of flows with you and shit like that too. Uh, I'll shoot off your locks like no country for old men. The chrome rise. Pick on somebody your own size, Rock. Why are you even doing this? Like, well, what you what you got against this nigga? Like, what? You ain't even have to. The no country for old men shoot the locks off. <sighs> Cause you know why he's got the dreads and shit. That was fucking crazy. Um, what I did notice is while Wise was wrapping his round, Rock is like nodding his head, and then he did a part where he said levels. Like, I'm about to go levels above this shit. Like, he's cool. He got some shit, but I'm going to show y'all niggas his levels. Um, uh, knock you down with a big fold fold, then it'll be, uh, I'll be over wise like the Chips logo. Nigga, what? That is the levels that I'm talking about. Because in the Chips logo, the owl's eye is over the word wise. Big fold fold and I'll be over wise like the Chips logo. That shit was crazy. Leave Wise all over the track like the Jada Kiss song. Rock had some crazy Wise flips. Um, I will say this. Uh, Rock gig like this is this is definitely a one round. Like one round Rock is very fire. It's very hard to to to, to like get around him in a one round battle. But what I will say is this, right? Uh, for Wise. It's gonna do more for him than it's gonna take away from him. He's gonna learn a lot from this battle. The consensus is gonna have Rock winning. I do have him winning, but I don't even really like the judge. It's just a one round battle. But I'm just gonna give you some game. So, I did feel like some of your punches was fire, but then you had some moments in there where the setups, like this, like you're, when you clean them setups up to where you get, like when you get to where you going and that punch lands, 
I think you on to something. You don't sound like nobody. That is a great thing. You don't sound like none of these other niggas. You getting big names, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you battling big names and you showing up against them. You not dying. So I think that's definitely a great thing. But uh, the setups, I think you really need to sharpen up them. Like when you had that setup with the uh, with the fucking um, the antidote. I shoot caution plum in the mouth, now y'all can't elope, that type of shit. It just sticks in my mind. I don't even let me look at the notes no more. This is that then you and then you came right after watch the man go. Like I like that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's hard hitting and it's different. But when you say shit like the the, the clock on the curb, the streets what like you know my nigga, that ain't this is big stage right here, my nigga. This is big stage, this is big look, this is big name. You got to come you gotta come with it, my nigga. Like if you're trying to do like uh uh, Jordan Crawford and dunk on motherfucking LeBron at, at the Rucker or at the gym, my nigga. You gotta, you gotta come with some shit. You had some shit in, in some of the rounds. I'm not gonna hold you. You was definitely cooking, and I think that you should definitely continue to get looks, whether it be on Gates of the Garden or whether it be moving on to something bigger. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of other niggas cooked on Gates of the Garden. And look where they at. Kid Slade was over there, and a lot of other motherfuckers was over there. So I definitely think that you should probably be getting a look. But I'm just gonna say that. It's more than just a look. You should be able to continue. Like, you impressed me. I wrote that shit down. I don't be writing niggas, that niggas lyrics down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, new niggas like you that I haven't even seen on a big stage yet. I'm writing them down. I'm watching the battle twice. It entertained me. I was very entertained. What I will say is that. Um, so, really, it's not about the winner or the loss. Y'all almost had 70,000 views in a day. Gates of the Garden definitely won with that one. Uh, I... I, I I definitely have a newer found respect for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know that you battled a couple other people in the past, and like I said, I probably didn't even really fully examine it. But to see what you did versus Rock was phenomenal. Rock's not on Summer Madness, so quite obviously Rock been sitting on material. This is just what he does. Like, I'm not, he was fired. He left nothing out there. Like, he was wilding from the gate, like snapping, like. Nigga, you're gonna get this. I'ma snap and push a blade through the gatekeeper like th like Thanos. I'ma snap. <laughs> what? He bugged on him. Not gonna lie, he was fired. But I, it's nothing less than what I expect. If Rock doesn't do that, and you know what though, I will say this: he needed to do that. If he didn't do that, like not play no games with that young boy, he'd have fucked around and lost. He'd have lost. If he did, if he played, if he played one game with that boy, he would have lost. And I, I commented on the on the joint when Rock put the video out. I said that young boy was snapping. Like he, cause I had to give him his respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I know a lot of niggas be always saying, oh y'all niggas don't be showing new niggas no love. It's like, yo, somebody do that type of shit that he did. Now when he battle again, I'ma watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely gonna be nigga, you do that? You can't come down from that. I only expect you to build from that. Like like the only the only thing I had, I'm not even gonna call it a complaint. Only constructive criticism I had was for you to clean them setups a little bit and the connecting shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you had like pockets of material where you go like three or four bars, and it's like I'm, if you're gonna punch, punch. If you're not gonna punch, you're gonna use angles. Use angles. If you're gonna use if you're gonna use multis or you're gonna use different cadences, you use that. But when you're not punching and you're not the, the 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 pocket of material is not like fluid. It's kind of like, and then it led to a, and that's only one bar. You know what I'm saying? Like there's other bars that I could have nitpicked with, but I chose not to. Um, I wanted to give you your props. It would be more so about props and love. Um, a salute to Dre Dennis, uh, Gates of the Garden, everybody over there. Uh, I know Dre Dennis didn't battle Math Hoffa. I see them going back and forth on Twitter and shit like that. I ain't really comment on it because it's like I don't really know what that whole situation is. Um, I know I seen Mav say something like, if Dre got money, Dre should book it. Why the fuck would Dre Dennis book a battle that y'all both was going to get paid for by King of the Dot? Like, why? I would never, if I was him, if I was, if me and him, was, me and you was going to battle on a league, and the league, and you don't take the battle for whatever reason, you know, I think he said COVID or whatever, RK. Okay. If you don't take the battle, there's no way in hell I'm going to pay you to do something that somebody else was going to pay for. That doesn't make any sense. Like, it really, it... it it does not. That's like me and my boys gonna move a couch, and then I say, "Yo, you take it too long. I'm hiring a moving company." And then you tell me, "Oh, just give me the money that you was gonna get a moving company. You was gonna pay them anyway." I'm looking at you like, "Nigga, what?" So I don't know. At this point, 
Uh, Dre Dennis needed Math Hoffa for that battle because, you know, the same way that Math Hoffa was looking at Dre Dennis is the same way a lot of the top tier niggas be looking at him, like the goods and the surf. The niggas don't be talking nothing positive like, yo, this is a nigga that we want to see. They talk down on him. Regardless of if he got the bigger battles with different niggas, you know what I'm saying, the Method Man shit, which was fire, and the other shit that he got with the Spanish and Nicky Jam, they still be looking at him sideways, you know what I'm saying? I don't got that energy for him. I fuck with math, but in order to keep it a buck, et cetera, et cetera, I'm just speaking it from the from the heart. And, you know, Dre Dennis needed that battle. He's trying to win that, that season. I haven't really tapped in with it yet. The whole season thing, I'm like, I'm more of a tournament guy. I'm not a, I'm going to watch some shit for 20 weeks. I'm just not that guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, pal, I'm not that guy, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, uh, URL Civil War. They drop everything on Saturday, the same day of RBE's event. They basically want to get them niggas out of the way because they know, like, if they drop all that shit the same day, come on, son, niggas know what they're doing. But, uh, you know, uh, I definitely peep all of them. And Showtime SP will be back, and we'll, we'll be doing recaps and shit like that. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I've been chilling. I've been enjoying retirement. You know what I'm saying? I've been chilling. More than more than more now so than ever. Uh, but like I said, salute to my guy Showtime SP. And if you do want to check us out, like I said, I did post the pictures on the gram and shit. Um, Vada underscore fly, and I'm sure Showtime SP probably posted some on his and shit. But uh, other than that, holla at your boy, gang. Shit, first thing rep and a damn thing to me. It is what it is and not what it should be. Life start feeling like a goddamn movie. Pussy wet and warm, cooling down a jacuzzi. On a flight, chest out, sipping on smoothie. Fight a tennis, sucking dick. So I'm eating pussy, beat it up. Now nah, next nigga fucking with a hoopy. She shot for the drive, but I still call it juicy. Okay. He's actually a nice guy. I ain't got nothing to say, nothing bad to say about the guy. I kind of like the guy. I'm a fan. You know, this is going to be different. I'd rather do it with somebody that I respect and I know it's nice to give MC War a good show. And this is a different kind of battle. We've got, you know, the first two rounds of beat, the third round I can tell The third round, me and K gonna get crazy, we're gonna talk. First round, we're gonna show y'all that we could really do this to some music. You understand me? But we're gonna do this with a little twist, you know what I mean? So shout out to my nigga Big K. I gotta put my foot in his ass. That's my nigga.